I decided to do a real short video about the issues of cleaning up your barbecue grates with wire brush. Now there's been multiple reported cases of accidental ingestion of a wire bristle inadvertently served up on a grill or smoker. Now it's not an epidemic, but it does happen. This is my grill brush, starting to show some wear and tear. I ordered up a new brush, but I thought I was gonna unpackage it during the video. Now before I film this, I smoked a pork butt on my Yoder West 1500, and after the cook, the grates needed a quick brush off as usual, so I grabbed the old brush. So remember, I was saving the new brush for the big reveal. So wouldn't you know it, I just happened to see a bristle broke off. It stuck to the grate. Now, back in the day, I would have kept this brush in service and wore it down to a nub. However, today we know better. I know better, and you should too. I'm just reminding all you grill masters out there that it is considered the best practice to change out that grill brush earlier rather than later. Some people advocate for not using wire bristles at all. That's your decision. So if you use it, use it with caution. There's other styles of brushes available, so I'm giving this a try. It's stainless steel, no bristles. Woven stainless steel, best used when wet on 400 degree grade. Now before you go, be sure to hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>